Oh, gosh, what a day. Oscar's okay, wherever he is. I'm not abandoning him. I just need to find him. Closed. It's late. Frau Wagner must have gone to bed. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. Call me, for the sake of what's left of our friendship. There's no point. It's too late, Olivia. Not a soul here. 
Not surprising, given the time. Nothing relevant. The expedition mustn't have led to any major breakthrough, I guess. It's a shame that Demoiselle Lenny is so modest about having been a member of the Resistance. She's a true hero. No results about Dana. She probably never got famous. Huh. Yunta. Demoiselle Lenny told me a lot about her. But was she some kind of spy?
The more I discover about Dana, the more I get the feeling I'm only scratching the surface of Wagen's history. Oh, but hey, let's call it a day. Do not disturb. Well, all right then. Hmm. Wagen Institute for Forensic Science and Medicine. Charming. Colonel Blake. Hmm. Wagen is surrounded by the Alps. Switzerland is right on the other side. Oh, I understand why Wageners call their town the heart of Europe. It's literally in the center of it. That's Germany over there. I wonder how far Bauchstadt University is from here. Is that you, Katie? Yes, Mom! I mean, who else can it be? Looks like Mom's friends came over again last night. She's been seeing them a lot since what happened to Dad. Maybe too much. Cooped up in my room for hours. Jeez, pulling my hair out trying to figure out the math problem Miss Warmwood gave us. I deserve a break, right? <sighs> Another letter for Dad. Last time it took Mom days to find the strength to open it.
Grandpa and Grandma from New York gave it to me for my last birthday. I really ought to read it, or at least dog ear the pages so it looks like I did. The piano that mom ordered will soon be here. Couldn't bring myself to tell her that I wanted a drum kit instead. <sighs> mom bought those again. Mom bought those again. Wow. I hope I get to travel around the world too when I grow up. Oh, hello, Munchkin. Hey, Mom. Is everything okay, Katie? We haven't seen Grandpa and Grandma for a long time. Mom says they'll probably come over from New York on her birthday. Can I go out and play with Olivia? <sighs> that depends on you, Munchkin. Did you finish your homework? Uh, yeah. More or less. So I can come check it then. Right, Katie? to go out. I uh, think I'll stay in. Just what I was thinking. <sighs> Not fair. You forgot your music box. Be careful with that, please, Munchkin.
Where'd this come from? I already told you. Your grandma and grandpa gave it to me when I was little. Doesn't look like it's from New York, though. I don't know. Must have been in the family forever. I just love it. You've always liked it. Ever since you were little. Will you give it to me when I'm big? Maybe, if you're a good girl, when I get old. So when will that be then? Later, Katie. In a very, very long time, I guess. When I'll be gone. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time. Oh, give it a rest, Olivia. Ah, oh, what the hell? You want me to call you Olivia? Fine. I've survived worse criticism. shouldn't put it off. I better call Olivia while I have the courage. think you are, Olivia Foster. It's easy to judge and lecture me from New York. You know nothing about what I've gone through, of what I've had to endure since leaving Hans.
Looks like I'm not the only one who can't sleep tonight. This is not the time to surf the web. If I don't call Olivia now, I never will. should be so nervous about making a simple phone call. I mean, hey, I've crossed Europe, been in all sorts of danger, and yet look at me here. I'm worrying about talking to my former best friend. <laughs> oh, and I think I used to spend my life on the phone gossiping with her. So what do I risk? Criticism? The one who missed her mother's funeral because she was breaking rocks at the bottom of a mine. In any case, Olivia hasn't stopped criticizing me ever since I left Valadelen on Hans Vorlberg's train. I'm the one who should be criticizing her. I mean, come on. Isn't she the one who took advantage of my absence to get her hooks into Dan? <laughs> now look at me, mulling over old grudges. That's exactly what I wanted to escape from when I decided to go with Hans in his train to Siberia. And then there was the departure with the Yukul tribe, their seasonal migration. Come on, Kate, for Christ's sake, stop procrastinating. Just make the darn call and get it over with. I can't go out now. Come on, Kate. You can't keep avoiding Olivia. Mr. Canton, is that you? Who's there, please? Got your letter, Olivia. Uh, Kate, I sent it two years ago. I know. Things have been... complicated. Complicated? I see. And so when are you coming back to New York? You know, to visit your mother's grave? You know I can't come back, Olivia. I'm still wanted by the police over the sale of the Vorlberg factory. Oh, I haven't forgotten. Believe me. If only you knew how much the accusations hurt your mother. Visits from the police, the requisitions, and just when she was diagnosed, too. And yet, the poor woman never stopped hoping that her daughter would come back one day. Or at least call to help her in her final days. I don't have to justify myself to you, Olivia, or to anyone else. Kate, I... Ugh. Okay, listen to me. I thought you had plenty of time to think about how you abandoned all of us. Me, your mother, 
Dan, or even that poor Mr. Canton, and maybe felt at least some remorse. But I guess I was dreaming. All you do is keep chasing castles in the sky and ignore those who care about you. I get why you're mad. Do you think I'm not mad at myself? Well, I hope so. But there's nothing I can do now to change what happened. It's over, Olivia. All I have now is the woman in the painting. Oh, Kate. I should have known. And I should never have asked you to call me. Goodbye, Kate. I hope you find whatever it is you've been looking for these past three years. One thing's for sure, though. You wanted to be alone, and that's how you're going to stay. Okay, let's go, kiddo. Another day, another page. A new day in Wagen. I must take the tram to that music academy where Dana Rose was a student in the 1930s. With a bit of luck, they'll have kept her records. Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them.
Demoiselle Lenny told me the Music Academy is near the musical square. Maybe Frau Wagner can tell me more. Hello, Miss. Ah, oh, Miss Walker, did you sleep all right? Ah, uh, fine, thanks. Now, is there anything you need? Everything seems to link the person I'm looking for with the Second World War and the rise of the Brown Shadow. Terrible times were those, my dear. Especially when Wagen was occupied after the annexation of Ostertal. Thank God I was born just after the liberation. I see. But I guess you had to grow up with the after effects of those events. Oh yes, dear. There was a kind of conspiracy of silence where everyone suspected each other, even their close friends. Did any of them collaborate with the enemy? And if so, was it through like-mindedness or simple cowardice? Were they responsible in one way or another for the arrest or death of a family member. Oh, I must have been awful. A terrible time, really. Well, the person I'm looking for is from the same generation. <sighs> You'll just have to hope she managed to survive the madness then. I went to the Zilberspiegel refuge yesterday. Oh, magnificent. I won't disagree with that, Miss Walker. Those mountains are the pride of the town, just like old Lenny. Lenny is highly respected in Wagen because she was a resistance fighter during World War II, right? Well, I heard about it when I was at the refuge. Lenny Renner might be a grumpy old spinster, but to us, she's still a heroine. Pity the same can't be said of her father, though. Still, everyone has their cross to bear, as they say. What do you mean? No point gossip-mongering. The war was a dark time in Wagen for everyone, see? Best not stir up old memories. I'd like to go to the Music Academy. Can you tell me how to get there? You just need to take the tram northbound to the Musical Square. Is there anything I should know about the Academy? To tell the truth, it's a little glum nowadays. Especially when you think it was once the jewel of the town, where students came from all over the world to perform on the Musical Square, you know. <sighs> Pity. It's since lost its panache of old through lack of students and means. Well, I, I guess I should get going. Thank you for your time, Frau Wagner. Feel free to ask if you have any more questions. Have a good day in Wagen.
Looks like this district has been more modernized than the antique shop district. ride, but I am glad to see you, Kate Walker. Oscar, oh, I've missed you so much. I say, this display of emotion is most unreasonable, Kate Walker. I do hope you don't plan such profusion every time I change bodies. It's just that I've been worrying about you. Where were you, Oscar? Well, the mechanical instinct of my host took me for a ride, all across town. It took me the whole night to tame it, and that's when I bumped into those little rascals. <laughs> yeah, lucky I was in the area, huh? Quite. So, Kate Walker, what has happened since we parted at the Balaton River? Maybe we should just sit down for a second, Oscar. This, this might take a while. And that's when Demoiselle Lenny gave me the address of the Music Academy in this neighborhood. I see, Kate Walker. You must think I'm crazy, huh? Running after that girl, Dana, who must have died ages ago. Well, Kate Walker, you know I have difficulty understanding illogical thought patterns. But in the end, what I do understand is that you need to find her. Is that correct, Kate Walker? Yes, that is correct, Oscar. I'm glad you're taking it so well. I don't see any fundamental difference between crossing Europe in search of mammoths, traveling on ostriches in an irradiated zone, or following your double. These are not things an automaton such as I take into consideration. Any other thoughts, Oscar? Well, I guess I could ask you where we are heading. But truth be told, it doesn't really matter. I will follow you wherever you lead, and for as long as you require my services, Kate Walker. That's what an automaton does. Thank you, Oscar. Oh dear, I hope you're not going to become physical, are you? No, I was just going to give you a pat on the back. I would rather you refrain from having such thoughts. I am not a dog, you know. Whatever next. Anyway. We'd better get going, Oscar. And you'd better keep out of sight. Uh, oh dear. I don't suppose I have any choice. Anything that requires my assistance? Is 
Is it really necessary for me to be shut up in here, Kate Walker? Sorry, Oscar, but I don't want to run the risk of losing you again. Bullet holes. The brown shadow must have shot people dead here. How horrible. Victims of the genocide committed by the fascists during the Second World War. Oh, so many deaths. I hope Dana made it through. Looks like they've tried to blend all these new shops into the original facades. <laughs> it doesn't make it any less a tourist trap, though. Looks like they've tried to blend all these new shops into the original facades. <laughs> it doesn't make it any less a tourist trap, though. That brand was everywhere in New York when I left. And now they've even got branches here. An automaton musician. Looks exactly like Hans's style. Like at Bahagstadt.
That brand was everywhere in New York when I left. And now they've even got branches here. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, Fräulein. What can I do for you? How come the square is so well known? Because of the mechanical orchestra there. It used to be quite the attraction. Every year the Academy's best student would play along with it. As did renowned musicians from around the world. Oh, that sounds intriguing. Is it scheduled to play today? I'm afraid not. Several years back, the town council discussed computerizing it. But the plan never went through, and no one has ever heard its music since. There are a lot of tourists on the square. Indeed. It attracts thousands of customers every year. A veritable boon for us retail shops. And for the people of the town, too? I wouldn't know about that. I live on the outskirts, as do most of the people. What with the rents being as high as they are here, you know? Do you know anything about the Wagen Music Academy? It's the large building across the square there. It used to be quite renowned worldwide, actually. But not anymore? Well, from what I gather, hardly anyone studies there nowadays. I wouldn't be surprised if it were closed. Well, what happened? Budget cuts from the town council, I guess. The academy can't be very lucrative. I see. Thank you. I, I should go now. Auf Wiedersehen, Fräulein. Come back again. Wow. Pity I don't have time for some sightseeing. I only know Dana as a waitress at the refuge, and yet everything seems to fit with her here. Not hard to imagine her coming here to the Music Academy to study. 
And who knows, maybe Leon waited for her outside one day as a surprise after returning from his Baltayar expedition. Strange. I can't open it like this. It looks like it's been mechanically sealed. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to open it directly. All these letters. They look like letters of formal notice. They probably haven't been paying the bills for some time. So that's the famous Wagen Music Academy? It's not what I was expecting.
Guten Tag! What now? If you're from the council, you can come back when I'm not so busy. Okay, so you're busy. There's no need to shout at me. <sighs> so, now what do you want, council minion? I'm not from the council. I'm, I'm just a visitor here. I came because I was hoping to look at the file of a student from the 1930s. Oh. I'm... I'm sorry. I, uh... It's just that I haven't time for digging up old files from 70 years ago. I have way too much to do here, you understand. I can tell you're a little overwhelmed. Where's the rest of the staff? Or, or maybe a student could show me. You are standing in front of the Rector, and the only employee of this academy. My name is Maximilian Mahler, and it falls upon me to manage everything on the premises. The maintenance, the archiving, and the lot before we close next month. So, if you don't mind... I'm very sorry to hear that the Academy is closing, and I can see you're extremely busy, but I've come such a long way to see it. I'd be so grateful if you could locate it. It's really important to me. And so is this place important to me, too. And I would love to hear the mechanical orchestra play one last time before the Academy closes. But... Alas, I can't, can I? Uh, unless, uh... Unless what? Well, um, you know. Okay, so you're suggesting that you'll only get me the file if I get that mechanical orchestra going? Is that it? Well, Herr Mahler. That's called blackmail. No, young lady. We call that, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Otherwise, we all might as well live on islands, don't you think? Okay, I'll give it a try. Believe it or not, I have seen mechanisms like the one on the square before. Well, in that case, I promise to give you the file in return for your services. <laughs> Thanks. But I must warn you that the Square has undergone some transformations over the years, and some parts of the mechanism may be difficult to get to. Don't worry, I'll make myself thin and slide between the cracks. You'll find some of them scattered around the Square, and some of the others you'll find in the Clock Tower. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second... What are you... Now, uh... What is the name of that student you're interested in? Rose. Dana Rose. And what were the years she attended our illustrious academy? In the 30s. 1937, to be precise. Oh. And here it is. And here you will find the annual inspection reports of the mechanisms by Frau Beckman. Frau Beckman? She was the rectoress of the academy during the years you spoke of. These are from 1937. <laughs> you see, I have a marvelous memory regarding archives. <laughs> this is why I have chosen Frau Beckman's. Because there's something in here regarding that Edna Droz you spoke of. Dana. Dana Rose. Uh, quite. You will also find some sheet music with annotations. This is the Hymn of Bargain, which you must play on the piano on the square in order to activate the Orchestra of Automations. Once you have fixed the mechanisms, of course. <laughs> All right then, here you go. What are you waiting for? This sheet music corresponds to the piano part for the hymn of Wagen. Someone's added annotations. They could help me play the hymn on the piano on the square, like the rector asked me to. Hmm. 
I wonder what it's supposed to represent. The report that the Rectoress of the Academy filled in with the help of Dana back in the 30s. According to the present Rector, I should find all the information I need to repair the mechanisms on the square. Music Academy Inspection Report, October 12, 1937. Today, I was due to inspect the musical mechanisms that enable students to give a public display of their talent and enable us to showcase the quality of our teaching to the people of our beautiful town.